When Bill had a stroke a year ago, he spent two weeks in hospital. For most of that time, he was bedridden in restraints. It still makes me cry when I think about it. And he was fighting and, and he was having nightmares, um, trying to go somewhere and he couldn't. And that was pretty awful. Since his stroke, Bill's been at Pleasant View Care Home in Wadena. I can't say more than enough how thankful I am that he is not being restrained. I can't think what I'd do if, if I was at home knowing he's tied up. Not that long ago, however, things were very different at Pleasant View. For patients with dementia or prone to falls, restraint use was the norm to keep them safe. In 2005, quality indicators showed more than 50% of residents were being physically restrained on a daily basis. It was terrible. Because you get used to looking at the people you care for every day, until numbers indicate to you what is actually happening and you stop and look, it was just well, the business we did every day. The indicators were developed by InterI, an international research collaborative and supported by the Canadian Institute for Health Information. They allowed Marinick to assess individual residents and compare her nursing home to other long-term care facilities. The indicators also showed nearly half of all nursing homes in the Saskatoon Health Region exceeded the daily target for restraint use. There's so many risks associated with restraint use. We knew that we needed to ensure that the pros outweighed the cons and wanted to really make sure that people took a look at why they were restraining people and determining are there alternatives that we could use to try to decrease those risks and increase safety for the residents. We took two individual clients to start with and asked ourselves if we take away the restraints what options are there? And that started um, a whole journey of education and interaction with staff and clients as to how we could apply that individually to more and more and more residents. Restraint use has dropped 20% across the region and 40% at Pleasant View, despite an increase in dementia and frailty cases among residents. Today, use is short-term and never a unilateral decision care teams and family members are involved. I think it's phenomenal. I can't, you can almost not believe it, but it certainly shows folks that it is possible. Culture change is happening and it's great. I don't think we could have done this without looking at the data. I'm seeing smiles. I'm seeing joy. I'm seeing a lot of interaction, movement, and more importantly, what I'm not seeing that was very commonplace, 10 even six years ago. I'm not hearing a lot of anguish noise, um, screaming. I'm not getting a lot of complaints from hands-on caregivers that are they're being punched, kicked, bit. Um, all in all, both staff and clients have benefited immensely from it. Least restraint, the reduction has been a journey, but one very worthwhile.